you can't please everybody. And you know, because a, a, a big um, part of my fan base is young, I tend to uh, want to educate more than I normally would if all my subscribers were my age. But I know a lot of the things happen in the comments and certain, certain things like that because of the age bracket that I deal with. So I'm going to explain some, a few things to y'all and I want you to pay attention because um, I'm going to talk about a few things that have come up within actually the past few days. All right, so you can't please everybody. And I know that, you know, especially being an entertainer, you can't please everybody. And you see that in the media, you know, the, the coolest celebrity in the world, you know, who's a good person and, you know, great actor or singer or whatever they are, they'll still get bashed for something. So, um, one thing I want to get out the way is that I did a reaction the other day to um, The Revenant. And I got a lot of hate on it. Not not too much, but enough for me to notice when I went and I looked at the comment section. I was like, what the hell? I mean, people were mad at me for talking during the trailer. And I think what the, the, the children don't understand is that um, I heard everything and saw everything in the trailer, first of all. Um, second, it's my reaction. I can do what ever I want in my reaction video. And third of all is if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. You can leave, you can unsubscribe, okay? And I won't care because loyal subscribers are going to stay. And people that respect my reaction are going to subscribe. And they're going to say, hey, you know what? Even though he was talking, that was part of his reaction. Those stirred emotion in him or brought up thoughts for him to say something during the trailer. We came here for his reaction. We got his honest reaction. There are actually people commenting, I'm unsubscribing. You talked to the... What the hell? Okay. Bye. Don't let the unsubscribe button hit you where the good Lord splits you. Okay? Because I don't need or want people subscribed to me like that. That are temperamental, butthurt babies. I don't need it. I want loyal subscribers, people that will come to my videos, and you're going to like most of them. And guess what? Sometimes you might disagree with me. Sometimes you might be like, eh, that video's all right. But you're not going to be like, I'm not subscribing because one out of a thousand videos I didn't like. You talked. All right, now, getting that one out the way. Next um, is sensitivity. Political correctness and sensitivity because... Whenever I, I've noticed, whenever I speak on two things, either lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, anything like that, um, I get hate. And you can't please everybody. Because here's the thing. You guys remember when I did the reaction video to the gay twins that came out to their dad and they were on the phone and everything? I and them mainly got so much hate for that that it was it was ridiculous. And I was like, wow, you can't please anyone because say I was a person that was against gay people, which I'm not. I think most people can tell the the in the, the people that aren't sensitive know that I'm not homophobic and I don't have a problem with gay people. The really sensitive people do. So, you know. I was getting hate from that, and I was just like, you know, doesn't make any damn sense. Um, if I had sided with the people who hated gays, then I would have gotten hate from people that love gays, and vice versa. Like, you can't win on that particular area. To give you an example of how sensitive people are, there was a video I did years ago, two or three years ago, like around when I first started. And it was a cute video of a little girl I was actually getting tired of all the politics with Barack Obama and Mitt Romney, right? And she was crying about it. It was a little white girl. And in the video, I said something about, you know, like, oh, people are getting all crazy. I was like, it's a damn shame in the world with a little white girl getting mad. I, I forgot what I said. There are people that came to my video and were saying he's racist because he said little white girl. 
she was a little white girl. I didn't say anything derogatory. What the fuck is wrong with you? And I didn't even say it in a derogatory way. Because a little white girl. I didn't even say it like that. It was just, you know, and the last thing with political correctness and sensitivity that I have to uh, mention is I did a video a few days ago, a reaction video. Um, and what was it called? Um, Aluhim Akbar or something. And the 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 <laughs> the amount of comments and thumbs down that I got I was like are you serious and after I made the video even before I uploaded it I was like you know what I get a feeling all the super sensitive Muslims are going to have a problem with this and let me explain myself really quick because I looked through the comments and I saw a guy that made a genius statement ingenious he was just it was plain it was simple and it was truth he said, I'm Muslim. He said something to the fact that basically that, um, actually, maybe this is a combination of a couple of comments that I read. But one guy had said that he wasn't, that he was Muslim and he thought it was funny as hell because basically they weren't making fun of him. They weren't making fun of his people. And I think one person has said, like, why are you even mad? Because the video is making fun of radical Muslims, okay? Let me give you something that is equal in comparison. That would be a quick... You getting pissed off at me reacting to vines that make fun of radical Muslims are the equivalent to Christians getting mad at me of, of reacting to vines that make fun of the Ku Klux Klan. Because they are considered radical Christians. Did you know that? Well, now you know. Okay? It doesn't make any sense. If I was still religious, if I was still Christian, and I saw vines that were cracking on the Ku Klux Klan, I'd be like, I'd be laughing my ass off. Because I know that they in no way, no major way at all represent Christians. I know that. So calm down. I get it. It could be a knee-jerk reaction. But if you really sit down and think about it, it don't get so emotional. You're like, yeah, they make fun of the, 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 the bad ones. The, the ones that, you know, we feel make us you know, look bad or whatever. And I understand that for a time, uh, in America, there was a misunderstanding in that, you know, there's certain people today. It, it, first of all, ignorance, the ignorant ones, you're not going to be able to, you know. But I think most people in America know that uh, all Muslims aren't like that. You know, it's the really ignorant ones, the really ignorant ones, you know. Like when I was a Jehovah's Witness, when I would watch TV and I would see jokes, you know, like someone... Uh, be talking to somebody, maybe trying to hide something. Their doorbell ring, and they'll run downstairs, and you know it might be somebody that was supposed to be helping them do something or pull the wool or something. Like, oh, listen, I don't, you know, just go out there, and I'll be out there in a second. I right, close the door. Who is that? Uh, Jehovah's Witness. You know what I mean? So, and I would laugh because it was funny because Jehovah's Witnesses was knocking on doors, you know. And that was like a true representation of Joe's Witnesses. We would knock on your door, ring your doorbell. And I thought it was funny because it was real. And that wasn't derogatory. It was just funny. It was, it was a real life joke. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, don't, I, I get it, but just please sit down, breathe, and think about something before you just react. Reacting in those type of ways, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good for us. And I'm done talking about it. All right, y'all. You're free to post your comments down below. I'm sure some of you are still going to be mad about gay stuff. And some are still going to be mad about me not hating gays. And some are still going to be mad about me reacting to the Muslim video. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to cut off comments because I'm not in the mood for it today. So, all right, y'all. 
I'm out. One million subscribers. Woo!